What's going on YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be and welcome to Yule King M. This is a brand new action RPG side scroller that just came out about last week or so. So if you do want to download the title, I will have the links in the description below though. So though, let's go though. Taking it from the top, yo. I don't I don't know. I'm um, starting off of course with the heroes that you can collect. Now, in this game, you actually select a main character. Um there are three options to choose from, but then after that, you then collect companions that can help you you in a combat so um, not only do the companions help you in combat there's also a gameplay mode specifically designed for you to use these companions firsthand so not only are you using your main character you'll also take direct control of these companions and I know you know taking a look at the graphics it's a bit dated it's a bit janky but it's not too stanky. Yes, it's janky, but not stanky. So, so I think a big part of that comes from the aesthetic, the atmosphere. You know, this is a setting that is woefully underused when it comes to hero collectors, and the combat is not too bad either. Oh yeah, nice, I like that face right there. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into combat. For whatever reason, it's called Checkpoint. There you go. Um, we're gonna jump over here to stage five too. It's set up just like in all these games. There's normal, hard, insane, and hell. You're gonna go through these stages, three star in each one, and there's also elite checkpoints as well. This functions just like all the elite modes that are in Hero Collectors, where you can go in here and you can actually farm for some of those companion fragments. But for right now, let's go ahead and jump into stage five too. Um, the game has some pretty nice quality of life, believe it or not. Um, it has auto clear without sweep tickets without sweep tickets, thank you very much. And it also has progressive battle. So progressive battle will basically, you know, automatically move your character from stage five, one, five, two, five, three, five, four, five, 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 six, five, seven, until you get to a point where you're defeated, which once again, I definitely like that. Um, these games have a tendency of kind of overpowering you. So this allows you to kind of, you know, get through all the boring stages and play some of the more challenging stages. And there actually are some. Um, now, like I said, the, the, the visuals are a little bit dated, but the combat is actually pretty good. I highly recommend you guys play this on your cell phone and not on emulator like I'm doing right now, but I'm doing that for the sake of the YouTube. But the game has combos, multiple different combos, juggles, uh, 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 knockdown abilities, parrying. I can parry, let me see if I can do it right now. Look at that parry, well, I missed. <laughs> Hold on, keep watching. You still looking? <laughs> Wait, I think I nailed it. Hold on, hold on. My AI is doing so well here. There's the parry, did you see it? She was setting up her telegraph and you can just flat out parry their telegraph attacks. So you don't have to just, oh, look at this little ink effect. Shout out to Street Fighter. Um, so when it comes to telegraphs, you have a couple of options. You can run out of it, you can dodge out of it, or you can parry it right at the right time. And of course, deal damage to your opponent. So I, I like that. So I got my little three-star ranking right there. Triple S, you love to see it. And then of course from here, I can challenge the next checkpoint if I choose to, or like I said a little bit earlier, throw that bad boy onto progressive battle. Go get a sandwich, come back in about five minutes. You're, you're gonna die pretty quick. <laughs> but come back and then boom, all of the boring stages that are you know too weak for you to really pay attention to, it'll automatically kind of go through it. And like I said earlier, I do have my companion right over here as well. So let's wait until we get to the actual boss stage here. Every single stage that I've seen so far basically has three sections. So the intro section, a middle section, and then the final section will be the boss encounter. So we'll go ahead and knock these out. And dude, I love this setting. I don't, I don't know why. All the games that are that 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 have a setting like this are all paid. Well, this game might be pay to win too, but they're all just like janky throwaway games. Dude, are you gonna come out? Oh, you're gonna send your boys. All right, I see how it is. Dude, back over there fanning himself. I gotcha, I gotcha. It, okay, I thought, dude, his life bar is tied to his minions. <laughs> I, I guess. Well, down he goes. So uh, there you go there. Pretty straightforward. That's gonna be combat here in the world of Yul Kang M. All right, so we'll go ahead and get out of here. Did I actually hit challenge the next checkpoint? If not, yeah, we did. So let's just go ahead and exit out of here real quick, and I'll show you what else is going on inside the game. So that's gonna be your your main story campaign mode there. Of course, all these games do have additional gameplay modes that accompany it. Um, if you go over here to the end, this is gonna be your tried and true daily resource grinds. So of course, you're gonna go in here every single day, um, clear these one time, and basically what you're trying to do here is to defeat as many, actually what I'll do, ooh, the auto clear is in full effect. Nice quality of life, you love to see it. But basically, you're going in here and trying to defeat Defeat as many uh, opponents as you can within the time limit. So, pretty straightforward daily resource grinds. 
outside of that, you also have Martial Tales. This is going to be where you can actually use your companions. So we're going to jump in here. Once again, progressive battle in full effect. Oh, hello. Let's go ahead and screenshot that bad boy. <laughs> it's kind of low resolution. It's not going to be a great thumbnail, but we'll take it. So like I said, you can actually take direct control of your companions as well. Let's go ahead and skip the dialogue here. But that's actually pretty cool. I, I like that. That's one thing that a lot of these, you know, kind of action games like, you know, Darkness Rises, things like that. Uh, of that nature where you select one character and that's your character forever sometimes you get kind of bored only using that character here you can actually take control of your companions and it's kind of like I don't want to call it an idle combat system, but you, you guys know what I mean when I say that, where it's just combat where, you know, your character's going to do basic attacks. Once they build up their ultimate, they're going to do their ultimate. So pretty hands-off when it comes to combat, but ni nice little mix-up. So you got action RPG combat, and then you have this kind of quasi idle turn-based action RPG that you can use your companions with. So... I like it, a nice mix. Remember what I said earlier? I said the game was a little janky, but it's not stanky. It's not stanky at all. <laughs> and then like I mentioned before, I can throw this bad boy on progressive battle and just let that ride. We are gonna do a companion summon a little bit later in the video, and I wanna stack them into this new team so we can take a look at them. So that is a that. Um, so you got your main campaign mode, you have your daily resource grinds, you have your companion battles, basically. Um, you also have PvP as well. So this game is going to be real-time live PvP. That's why it has, you know, very specific timing to try to get as much, you know, many players in the game as possible to ensure that matchmaking is as good as possible. So that's why it's going to be timed PvP there. Um, you can also, I'm pretty sure... Don't fact check me on it, just respect it. I think this is gonna be PVP against bots. You know what I mean, like the AI. This is live. That's what I think it is, but I completely made it up. I don't know. You also have a village you can walk around in. Why? I don't know. So those are gonna be the main gameplay modes that are currently in Yul Kang M. Um, there are clans in the game, and I always look at these to kind of see, you know, what the overall health of the game is. And it looks like not a lot of people know about this game because the guilds here, looking looking mighty empty <laughs> but we'll go ahead and join a fatality um so it looks like you know pretty normal stuff when it comes to you know joining a guild in these games but since the guild is so low level nothing important is unlocked just yet uh, which is a little unfortunate because like i said the game is better than it looks all right so that is that let's go ahead and jump into the summon session now i have got to say low key middle key high key i regret that i didn't know about this game prior to creating my top 10 summon animations video like there's some pretty cool summon animations in this one um let's go for let's be smart and do the step up banner that's fine so hello hottie now this is my main character right over there the little female warrior there but depending on what main character you choose actually changes your summon animation also so pretty cool um so we got you one chan love to see them come on in i like how they run like they run to your base too <laughs> uh, looks like it's gonna be a fragment based hero collector as well so it looks like you can get a full character as well as fodder characters there goes sang all right <laughs> run to the base buddy go in there <laughs> oh dude do we get the summon lady we got the summon you lady you love to see her yuri in the place to be nice come on in <laughs> I like this little summon animation. It's pretty good. Oh, wow. Nice job. I like, uh, I always respect a hero collector that's not scared. It's like a two star. It's pretty low tier, but I'm, <laughs> I always respect a hero collector that's not scared to put in non humanoid characters that you can collect. We need more people with four legs, no legs. You got to have more of it. This guy has his balls in his hand looking good. And there is my a multi pool. Very, very nice. Also got some tickets here as well. Um, so looks like I'm only gonna be able to do items with this one. So you can also. <laughs> this guy's just like, yeah, I'm just gonna blow that chest up. I like it. I like it. And this is gonna be some upgrade materials there. So let's go over here to my main character. So the great thing about upgrading your character is extremely easy. You can just hit auto gear upgrade and it'll automatically upgrade all the gear that needs to be upgraded. You can also equip all of your little stones as well within your gear. Now I'm sure you'll finally get to a point where you're gonna have to kind of, you know, really min max where which specific piece of gear needs to have which soul stone. I'm sure that'll come one day. Um, but for right now for early gaming, all you gotta do throw that auto bad boy on. It'll 
automatically select all of the upgrades, apply it for you, and you can keep it moving. Very, very nice. Um, you can also evolve gear as well and up your star level as you move along. So now that we got some new companions, Yuri here, let's go ahead and feed her a little bit of EXP juice. Get her up a few levels there, not bad, all right. Um, that's pretty much all I've been doing when it comes to companions. I haven't been playing the game that long, obviously, um, but there's gonna be some EXP juice there. Once again, um, evolving the character from different rarities, upgrading the star level, and increasing their skills as well. Can't wait to see that face slap. All right, so let's go ahead and throw it on progressive battle once again. And uh, let's take a look at our new look hero collecting team. <laughs> <laughs> Not, I, I like what they did here. It's kind of interesting. I, I like this. I feel like every single game from now on, from now on, if you're like an action RPG where you have to select one character, you got to have a companion system and like uh, a little hero collecting RPG mode tacked on. <laughs> Let me throw this bad boy in time two speed. Throw it up a little bit. Oh, it already was on. All right, that's fine. I want to see Yuri. Yuri's about to do her ultimate right now. Encouragement. Okay, that's pretty cool. And there she goes. <laughs> I like it. And my bear. My bear is waving at people. Very, very nice. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Nice little look at Yule Kang M. Um, you know, a pretty low population, unfortunately. You know, I don't really obviously see anyone really talking about this game but hey you can change that my friend by downloading the game and trying it out yourself once again my name is fg3000 i thank you a ton for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video later